Jared Haas with CrunchFresh.com down here with Mario Goslin. If you may or may not know, Mario Goslin is the team owner of Josh Williams, who was in the news last week. Mario, tell me from your perspective what happened with the incident with Josh Williams uh, parking it on the start finish line. Well, I mean, I, I think it was just a series of events. It's not something that, that was thought about for minutes or hours or days, you know what I mean? Uh, told Josh, Josh the spotter told him to, uh, that NASCAR was parking him and he said, what? And he, he thought, you know, the spotter just messing with him. They always get around with each other and um, definitely didn't think at the time that losing uh, Marabon on the racetrack would cause us to be parked. Um, you know, obviously brought out the caution, I get it. I don't think it's the first time that's ever happened. I don't think it's the last time it's ever happened. And, uh, you know, NASCAR has, you know, a few different ways they can handle it. And they chose to park him at that point in time. And I don't, you know, at, at that time, Josh was wondering if he heard it right or if it was just messing with him. So he says he just starts slowing down and asked him to repeat it. What's going on now? Or what, you know, what did you say? And he said there was silence for a minute. So he slowed down even more. And then, uh, Reed told him to park it and he was basically stopped the start finish line so he just you know spur a moment said all right and got out and walked away and there's that and nascar held josh williams for the duration of the race and they kept the car even longer what time did you guys get out of atlanta saturday well, or I don't probably have a, sunday i don't have a timeline but it was it was well after everybody else <laughs> gotcha and then what does this mean with this um with the support that's been outpouring by the community. I mean, Josh Williams following has doubled on Twitter and even sponsors like Alloy has seen a positive review. What have you seen from your perspective of the support of the fans? Well, I mean, I gotta tell you that overwhelming the support and I would say probably 95% is, is positive support. You got some people that don't think it was the right thing to do. Some people do, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And, uh, and that was a decision that he made at the time. And I, you know, I mean, it's, it is what it is and we got to move forward from it. And NASCAR did what they felt like they had to do. And we just, we're here to race. We're racers, we're here to race. And that's the part that hurts a little bit. Um, you know, Josh is out there every weekend and he's here to race. And I feel like he's level-headed. He's smart about what he does and he picks his battles. and. You know, I mean, he's not one that caused a lot of wrecks or is always wrecked or anything like that. And I don't know. I think it was just a, it was just a chain of events, a set of circumstances that led up to what happened. Gotcha. And thank you, Mario. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit FrontStretch.com for more racing content.